it's your boy Hunty back with some ESO content. Okay, the new patch scale breaker has dropped and I have been enjoying the changes. Okay, there is a few bad points, okay, but I don't really want to uh, focus on them. I want to focus on the positives. Okay, PS4 EU server is actually performing a lot better over than the desyncs, but it is overall performing a lot better. So I'm happy about that. It's making the server a little bit more playable. Okay, and I do like some of the changes, okay, such as um, the rally change and, and little things like that. Okay, they're nice little changes. Okay, so this is going to be a stamina DK updated build. Okay. Really nice builds, got pretty much everything you need from a stamina DK, damage, survivability, good resource management, good for group play, good for uh, solo play, 2vxing, anything you want, really good all-round build, okay? Been playing this all day today in small group and uh, a bit of solo uh, yesterday, and I have been enjoying the hell out of this build, okay? It's been really, really good fun. Okay, I haven't seen anyone running it like this, as in the two abilities um, that I'm using right now. But it is really, really good fun. So if you don't want to, don't know what to run on Stamina DK, this is the build for you. Okay, this is this is real good fun and, and works really well. Okay, let's go straight into the gear. Okay, gear, we are going to be running front bar Asylum Greatsword. Okay, this is going to help us with the ultimate regeneration. Okay, we get ultimate, we get sustainability, we get more damage, we get survivability. Okay, ultimate is what we thrive off as a DK. Okay, so the Asylum for me complements the stamina DK in the best way possible. Okay, but if you want to use Maelstrom, okay, um, and use a gap closer, then crack on. If you want to use agility for more max stam, again, that's personal preference, but for me, I feel like Asylum with the ultimate regen with the, re, uh, with the reverse slices complements the stamina DK beautifully. Okay, moving on to the bat bar. Okay, we're running 7th Legion bat bar. This is pretty much predictable right now as it is really, really good bat bar um, set as it got changed this patch. So this patch, you only have to one bar it as when you cast a uh, ability that increases your physical and spell resistance, which our volatile armor is going to do, you gain 341 weapon damage um, and 341 health uh, recovery over 10 seconds. Okay, this is really, really nice. Okay, this is just a easy 340 weapon damage buff just there off the bat. And you're going to be Casting your Volatile Armor frequently and keeping this up. So it's really, really nice. And as you can see there, um, there is no cooldown because it's every 10 seconds from the proc. So it will proc 10 second duration. Immediately it will proc again when you cast the ability. So there is practically no cooldown on this bad lad. So it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I do recommend running a Poison. This isn't the poison I run, okay? I use double dot poisons, okay, on the bat bar, but I've just run out, but I've just put random poison here so you understand that a poison goes on this, okay? Because we have our weapon damage um, enchantment on the front bar. The monster set we're going to be using, which is pretty predictable, I'm a stamina DK, I love ultimate, give me the ultimate gains. I'm using blood spawn. Using heavy, uh, using blood spawn medium, okay? Uh, medium blood spawn in pen, Maximum Stam, okay, Blood Spawn's just best in slot. It's a beautiful monster set for Stamina DK, complements it really well. Okay, then we're going to be running 7th Legion um, Body PCs, okay. We are 5 heavy, okay, we are 5 heavy. So this is a heavy setup, um, but it just works really, really well. Works really, really well. Okay, um, then the second 5-piece set we are running is... Shackle Breaker, okay? We're going to be running the Shackle Breaker. And the reason um, we're running Shackle Breaker is because we're using the Sigic, or, or, um, Sigic Order um, ability to remove the snares and give us that speed that the Stamina DK really, really lacks. Okay, and I find with Shackle Breaker, it allows us to have that magic pool and that magic sustain really nice with tripods, okay? So five-piece Shackle Breaker, we're running two-piece Bloodspawn, 5P 7th Legion, and 1P Asylum. Okay, this is really, really nice. Now, if you don't have the Asylum, run Agility. The build still works perfectly fine. Okay, the Ultimate Regen is just a, just a little icing on the cake, you know. But easy sets to get out of, 7th Legion. 
and then shackle breaker jewelry okay if you don't if you can't craft shackle breaker jewelry you can buy seventh jewelry okay um and just work it however you want but i find that this this works really well for me so that is the gear let's go over i am a nord Okay, you can go walk and go max damage, okay, but I find Nord just gives me them good resistances, good survivability. Um, and I just feel like Nord just works really nice with the ultimate regen and all that good stuff. Um, I am using the Warrior Munderstone, okay, so we're increasing that weapon damage and trying to get the maximum out of that weapon damage as much as possible. Weapon damage is not only damage itself, it's also as healing, okay? The more weapon damage we've got, the more healing we've got. Food, we are using the Arteum Takeaway Broth. Okay, this is, gives us max health, health recovery, stamina, and stamina recovery. Okay, this is just, for me, best in slot. If you can't afford this stuff, okay, Dubious will work perfectly fine. Okay, you just don't get the health recovery. But Dubious will work perfectly fine. No dramas at all, okay? This is, a, again, another little icing on the cake. Little, you know, how to min -ma just min-max a little bit more. Okay, but not end of the world if you don't have this food. Let's go into the abilities. So Bat Bar, we're using Fragmented Shield, okay? We're using this one because it has the increased duration for Major Mending. Race Against Time, okay? This is going to be our snare removal. It's going to give us movement speed, and it's also going to give us crit damage by 10%. Okay, this ability is so awesome. It's just really, really good. Speed. Crit damage, snare removal. What more do you want from one caster ability? Okay, this is perfect for stamina DK. Da stamina DK is one of them classes that can take the damage, but it gets stuck in the mud. So you're forced to take the damage. This, abil this ability relieves that pressure. Not only are you tanky, you now have the mobility the stamina DK lacks. Okay, this is the reason why we're running Shackle Breaker and Tripods because it helps with our uh, management of Magicka for this ability. Resolving Vigor, okay. Uh, resolving Vigor now, we're getting some nice tooltips on Resolving Vigor now. Um, resolving Vigor, we're looking at 26k uh, without a light attack and without continuous. So that, as you can see, that's a really nice uh, Vigor tooltip. Okay, this is really, really strong. Um, you don't get the initial heal that you used to get, but the the heal over time on this is very, very strong um, for them four seconds. Volatile Armour, this is going to be our resistance buff. Okay, this is what we're going to need to proc, proc our 7th Legion. Blood Craze, okay, Blood Craze is going to be give, uh, dealing physical damage and also uh, heals us 1,600 health every two seconds. Okay, so this is a little bit more survivability, a little more of a heal intake and also... Um, causing damage to the enemy. So starting off with a heavy attack, rending slashes, is a nice little combination into the front bar. Back bar, I'm going with corrosive armor because corrosive, uh, corrosive armor is just a very, very strong ability. Not only does it help you survive um, a lot longer, it also allows you to do that extra damage while it's up. Your direct abilities ignore all um, physical resistance. Okay, um, but ideally, if you're playing group and stuff like that, you want to change this to the Sigic Order Ultimate. I just don't have it um, morphed at the moment, but I would use the Sigic Order um, Ultimate on the back bar just to give you that more tankiness, um, as it does give you a lot of reduced damage, so it will give you that little bit more survivability. But for solo, I think Corrosive Armor is uh, a little bit better for solo. Um, as the Sigic Order Ultimate does bug out when you actually try and use the ability as a survivability tool. Front bar, we're going with Venomous Claw. Okay, this is going to be our damage over time ability and does a good burst, bit, bit of burst damage there, 4.8k. Okay, uh, unbuffed. We get it buffed. Whatever the tooltip. Okay, we're doing nearly 6k initial damage and then we're doing another nearly 25k uh, damage over 12 seconds. Okay, that, as you can see, that's really, really nice bunch of damage. Noxious Breath, again, does a nice initial hit of damage. And again, another. T it's just a 12k po uh, poison damage over 12 seconds. Again, keep these up 100% of the time. Also, Noxious also gives you major fracture it gives them major fracture reducing their physical resistance by 5280 okay so this is really really nice really nice ability rally 
Rally is one of the abilities that I'm very happy about the change. They reduce the time um, for you to get a big heal. Now you get a consistent um, burst heal every time you cast it now. Um, where before you had a, like a heal over time and, and you had to... Uh, you know, leave the ability for quite a while, not quite a while, but a couple, quite a few seconds before you would get a nice burst heal. Now you're getting a more consistent burst heal um, in a shorter time frame, which for me is a lot better for my play style because I'm always outnumbered. So I don't have the three, four, five extra seconds to wait to get the burst heal. So this works a lot better for me. So yes, I am using Rally and Heavy, but that's why I'm using this ability here as my snare removal and... All that good stuff. Rally, for me, is much better than Momentum. This Momentum, this patch, is... And I don't want to get into it, but Rally is so much better. Okay. Reverse Slice. Okay, this is going to be his Execute. Dizzy and Swing, this is going to be his main DPS. It's going to be our CC. Um, and yeah, it's going to cause some nice bit of damage. Um, and with the combination of Take Flight, which is our ultimate, okay, we're going to do, we're going to dot them up, get into about half health, just off dots. We're going to do a dizzy and swim. We're going to go into the Take Flight, and we're going to whack in a nice execute there, and we're just going to finish the the enemy there. Targets will be neutralized with a nice clean flush uh, combination. Okay, so that is the uh, the gear, the skills, the abilities. Again, let's let's just show you the um, slotables. This is the food, okay. And the pots I am using are tripods. Okay, these are going to give us health, magic, and stamina, and it also gives you the recoveries as well. Now, you can use um, Essence of Weapon Crit. Okay, these are very, very strong. Um, if you're finding the person you're fighting isn't snaring you or CCing you enough, okay, you can use these because these will give you more damage, more crit, um, and stronger heals as well. Okay, um, but if you're finding yourself just draining yourself of Magicka because you're trying to keep Major Mending up, you're keeping your Volatile up for 7th, and you're also then using it, Magic Pool is your um, snare removal, okay, uh, you know, tripods are going to be the way forward. Okay, so I find the tripods for open world outnumbered is much better. If you're in group, you could switch to the crit pots because you're not going to be uh, targeted as much. Okay, so you could get away with it. Okay, and I think that is it. We've have a look at the stat sheet when we are fully buffed. Okay, this is where we'll light attack will continue. So we're looking at three, uh, 4.3k weapon damage, 1-4 recoveries. Oh, we've got a pot, so if we do it with all pots, we do it with all the pots up and everything as well. So this is our fully buffed stats. We've got 1-6 uh, recovery, 3.2 max stam. Uh, 4.3 weapon damage, okay, and we got some nice base resistance. Let's have a look at the stats on the back bar. Okay, we got 30k flat resistances without blood spawn proc, and then we got 3k crit resist. Okay, so as you can see there, the stats, none of them are huge. We don't have a huge, massive stamina pool. We don't have huge recovery, which you do not need on a stamina DK anyway. Okay, recovery is not a drama, and we don't have, a, like, uber high weapon damage, but we have a good all-round base build. Okay, this is what you need for outnumbered situations. Just good resource management, good survivability, and enough weapon damage to turn around and burst it, burst it, the people chasing you down. Okay, this is working really well for me. Now... If it's working well for me, it can work well for everyone. I am not the best player. I am not the best stamina DK on the server by nowhere near. Okay, I play all characters, so I'm not the best at any of them. I literally come on characters, well, I'll play a week of stam DK, I'll play a week of stam plot, I'll play a week of this. Okay, so if I make this build work, anyone can use this build. I promise you, it's not an advanced build. Any of you guys could put this gear on, put this load out, and you will enjoy Stamina DK. I promise you, it's awesome. So, hope you guys took something away from this. If you've got any tips and advice to give me for, you know, my next build for Stamina DK, because I'm always switch, swapping out and changing, and, you know, I'm always open to, um, you know, new different builds and advice, advice. Just because this is my build, I don't think it's the best build. Okay, so please comment below. Also, let me know what you guys want to see next. What class do you guys want to see a build on? You pick it and I'll do it. I'll put up a little poll, okay, and you guys can choose whatever class and I will I will see what I can do. But uh, overall, I'm happy with this patch at the moment. I'm happy with Stam DK. Um, and yeah.
Peace out. Thank you very much for watching.